Hello everybody. So I am here to show you a couple of notebooks that I really like that have come out now for stable diffusion. And this first one that I'm showing you, uh, Deform Stable Diffusion, I think is going to be the main one I use just because it does have more parameters so we can get in there and edit some of these parameters now. But let me just go ahead and walk you through this. And this notebook and the other one by Pharma Psychotic, I believe it was called, they both do require you to download the checkpoint model that I'll have a link for below in Hugging Face, which is right here. This is the name of the file that you need to download, and this is the only requirement. You do not need the Hugging Face tokens anymore. I think they've taken out most of the safety filters and everything. I'm not 100% sure on that, but this is definitely, if you see, this is a lot more streamlined. I can just kind of close all these now, actually, and show you just how simple this is, especially compared to that other notebook that still had a lot of items in there for the beta test, you know, long explanations of tech things that we don't really need to run this. So this is, again, this one is Deforum Stable Diffusion 0.0. .0. And I think this is going to be the main one I use for now. And let me just go ahead and show you what you do. This will be real familiar to you if you've been using Disco Diffusion. This has a lot of elements that look a lot more like Disco Diffusion, which I like. So um, from here on down, you just run it. You um, And it will load up your Google Drive down there. But you just run this, run this, run this. You really don't need to worry about anything. Run this. And then down here is where you just need to make sure this is the file you need. It is sd-v1-4.ckpt, and that's the checkpoint file. That's the only file you need to worry about. This is the only thing you need to get this, this notebook running. And then you just need to put it into your model directory, which will be right here, my drive, AI, models. And so I've already done that. And let me go ahead now and show you some runs here so we just and i haven't changed any of the settings yet and i don't think i'm going to experiment with settings just yet i'll do that in the next day or two for now i just want to get people up and running with um, what i think are the best notebooks right now which is going to be this one and the other one i'll show you so you just go down here you run this just make sure you have that in the right directory and that's all you need to do to get this running you could you don't have to change any of the other settings and then down here, we'll see some real familiar stuff like in Disco Diffusion. There is this batch directory. There is the save settings. And this will now also display the seed and everything in that beta notebook. I think it just showed the prompt. We also have the ability here to use starting image, which is really cool. I can't wait to get into starting images with this, which I have not done yet. Um, there's a place here to put the seed. And this one I'm not familiar with, the sampler. This will be one of the ones that I will experiment with here very shortly in the future. The scale, I believe this is like the clip guidance scale in Disco Diffusion. So this will kind of push the image more like your prompt. So I, I've gone over that before and kind of showed you how that can affect the image. And then the number of batches, that's just how many renders you want to make of the image. And then the seed behavior, this just um, shows a fixed seed. Or what are other options there? Um, iteration, random. Okay, well, I think that's just for the seed. This does display the seed now. And these are the prompts. If you notice too, we don't have to enter that zero, the keyframes now. You can just enter multi-prompts by just using a comma and then adding adding something else. But I already have it running, as you can see. And oh, wow, look at these images. These are just you know beautiful images we're getting here with this. And it does still have that limitation of kind of 512 by 512. But anyways, this is the notebook. It's nice and simple, no clutter. So my goal here is just to get you up and running. And I'll get a little further into some of these settings later. So you can find all these files where you put your batch directory right here. And I just have test deform. That's the name of this notebook. This one is the deform stable diffusion notebook. And I really like this one. I like the other one too, but I think this one has a few more options, which is why I'm going to be using this one. But, you know, I'm going to be experimenting with these a lot in the future. So let's go ahead now and take a look at the other notebook. Okay, and before I jump into the next notebook, I just want to show you here is a sample of the images that I just did, the settings. So you can see this is now saving all the stuff we want to see. It's saving the seed and some of the settings here, which is a lot more than the other one. So this does save a lot more of the settings. Okay, and this one I'm just going to go ahead and video while I run it here. And I'll just, I'll just pause the video when we get to the slow parts. But basically, we're just going to do just like we did the last one. We're just going to go down the line here and run everything.
And again, I can show you this too while it's doing this. This is also a much cleaner notebook. If you notice, there's not a lot of excess stuff in here. So it's nice and clean. We can go all the way down here. And you can see here, here is again, really familiar settings here, the width height, the guidance scale. And so it, it is a little bit different than the last one. It also has these samplers here. And I've just used the KLMS. I did try to use these. I just got kind of kind of black and white looking images. The KLMS definitely seemed like the good one. But I'll go ahead now and just stop the video for now and come check back in when this is all done loading. Okay, this is all loaded up now. So I'm just going to go ahead and scroll on down the next one. And this again is that same model file that you need to download, which I have the link below. And that's really all we got to do here. We don't got to worry about that token anymore. Okay, and these files are all loaded up now. Now, again, this here is that model, which I have provided a link below. It's that sdv one 4checkpointckpt So you do need to download that. That's the only thing you need. You don't need those tokens anymore. I believe they did also take off some of those beta, beta filters and things like that for the snowbook. And we'll just let this run, and I'll come check when this is done. Yeah, if you see the special tokens, it just automatically logs you in now. So you don't have to worry about any of that anymore. Okay, and there we go. This is all loaded up. I'm going to go ahead now and just call this PP test for the Parma Psychotic. And again, we have all our nice familiar settings here. The batch name, that's the directory we'll make for our files. The resolution there, the guidance scale, which again, this is kind of like the clip guidance scale. I'm going to go ahead and put the steps up to 200. You can you can leave them really low too, and this thing's really fast. And again, I, ha I did test the sampler a bit. This KLMS, the default seems to be the best one. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and input that same prompt we had the last time. And let's go ahead and run. We'll go ahead and run like four of them here. Okay, and there's our image. You can see it looks very similar to the last one as well. And since I have this notebook open, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and show you a sample of a couple of these other samplers just because it's really easy to do here. So let me go ahead and I'll go ahead and let this one finish and then we'll stop it. But you can see this runs really fast. This renders extremely quickly compared to what Disco Diffusion did and gives you some really great looking images. Um, the one of the downsides is the, the resolution size. It really works at 512 by 512 really good. When you try to go over sizes and stuff, it doesn't work so good. But let's go ahead and stop this now. I'll just go ahead and show you a quick demonstration of these other samplers here. And again, I tried this the other day. I didn't get real good results with it. It seemed like the KLMS was a lot more colorful and coherent. I even think that um, yesterday I got black and white images. We'll go ahead and run this though and see what we got here. And I will be experimenting with these a lot in the future. But my main goal here is just to show you these two notebooks. I think these are the best two notebooks out there so far. And they these both have more settings than that original one. So... Go ahead and try these notebooks, and you should like one of these. You know, if you can't get one to work, just use the other one. The only thing you really need is that file, and I have all those links below. Okay, and there's our next image. You know, it actually doesn't look that much different, except for there's kind of a border up on the top and the bottom. So I'm not really familiar with a lot of this stuff. You know, I haven't experimented with this too much yet. I've just been rendering tons of images. But thank you for watching. Well, we'll go ahead. Let's do one more. Let's go ahead and do this other one. This seemed almost exactly the same to me yesterday, the DDIM as the PLMS, and they both didn't look very good, and just this one looked good, but we'll go ahead and run this one again. Give it another shot here. Okay, and it's rending down, and actually, I don't today I don't see any difference really at all between any of these renders. Really. They all look equally good to me, so I'm not sure. I'll do some more experimenting with this later. But for now, again, my goal is just to get you up and running with these notebooks. And I have made tons and tons of images yesterday. I think I stayed up for 20 hours just rendering images. So I'm going to be posting some really cool slideshows later as well. And I'm, I'm going to stick to these notebooks for now. Unless a notebook comes out with a really big change, like that has animation or something, I won't be posting notebooks every day. I just wanted to kind of give you, you all a couple of options here for the notebooks. And these are definitely going to be my working notebooks for now. I'm probably not even going to, you know, experiment with any new ones unless I see they've added video or something, you know, something real special. But right now, just go ahead and enjoy this stable diffusion. It really is a blast. You can come up with some great images. And thank you for watching. I'll be back soon. I will be posting some more slideshows, some slideshows later today as well. Thank you for watching.